So, use the triangle in problem 20. So this is our problem 20 right here. Find the measure of both angles A and B. Now, let's assume that we had... Actually, I believe I actually meant this to be 19. So let's correct that. Problem 19. So all the way back up here because it's actually labeled A and B. A, B, our angle, um, this is 6 and this is 4. And it doesn't matter we can use it with our 2 root 5 if we want to, or we can use it without. I'm just going to leave it out. So, if I want to know A, I can use the opposite in the hypotenuse, which would be sine. So the sine of A is 4 over 6, or 2 over 3 like we had said before. And the cosine of B, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, is going to get me B. Now, we don't need to do both of these. But how do you get the angle out of the sine is by doing the inverse sine. So inverse sine of the sine of A. It's nice that the inverse function is as straightforward as just saying inverse function. And so you get angle A is the inverse sine, and so you have to hit the second button. I'm going to double check that I'm in degree mode, because I'm using degrees. Sorry. And I'm hitting second and then the sign button of 4 divided by 6. So you get 41.8 degrees. Now, you can just subtract because we know it's a right triangle to find the other one. Or we could hit inverse cosine of 4 over 6. So B is 48 point two degrees. Let me, let's keep going. So to find the height of a tower, some tower over here, surveyor positions a transit at 65 meters from the base. Sixty five meters uh, from the base of the tower. Measures the angle of elevation so we're looking up from the ground. This is the angle of elevation, always from the horizontal, 28 degrees. What is the height of the tower? We're looking for H. So we've got opposite, adjacent to this angle. And so I'm going to say the tangent, because it was opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 28 is H over 65. To solve this, to get h by itself, we've got to multiply both sides by 65. Cancels that out. Times 65. So h is equal to 65 times the tangent of 28. 65 times the tangent of 28. Making sure you're in degree mode. The h is the nearest meter. So 34.56 would be 35 meters tall. Ladder leaning against a wall makes an angle of 78 degrees with the ground. So we've got a ladder, same kind of deal, but it's pretty steep, 78 degrees making with the ground. The foot of the ladder is five feet away from the building to the nearest tenth of a foot. How long is the ladder? So not how tall is the building, how long is the ladder. So let's call that x, per se. And we know adjacent to the angle, and we know the hypotenuse. So we're going to use cosine of some angle 78 equals 5 over x. So first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by x, because x is stuck in the denominator. x times the cosine of 78 equals 5. Now that we have that, divide by the cosine of 78 because it's multiplied by the x. So x is equal to 5 divided by the cosine of 78. 5 divided by the cosine of 78 is 24.04. So it says um, 
nearest tenth of a foot. How long is the ladder? 24.0 feet. All right. 40-foot tree is casting a 25-foot shadow. So we've got a tree. 25-foot shadow. A 40-foot tree. Find the angle of elevation of the sun. So the sun's going to be over here someplace. And we want to find the angle of elevation to the sun to this angle right here. So we've got 40 feet and 25 feet. We've got opposite and adjacent. So the tangent of the angle that we don't know, that's what we're trying to solve for, is 40 over 25. And so inverse tangent of 40 over 25 is equal to our angle. So inverse tangent. Hit the second second button first and so your angle is 9.1 degrees sorry that's not correct I typed in 40 4 so actually doing 40 um, we get a much better angle which makes much more sense 57.99 so to the nearest tenth the 9 is going to round that up to 58 Point zero degrees. So, we'll move on to solving the triangles next. 